Shalom. I want to start off by giving all honor, praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Kadash. The waters to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone, who rule well, and blessings to the hopeful Bakiyar. I want to get a couple of counts in the scriptures when the Most High showed his men, namely Edris and John the Revelator, visions of the kingdom and show you that the kingdom is already in existence, all right? That he took them to a future time of when um, the kingdom was a reality. And in fact, it is. The kingdom is, is in existence right as we speak in this moment, all right? It was even from the beginning because the Most High is not bound by time, all right? When you look at um, the different dimensions that we're bound by time and space but the most high is limitless man okay the scriptures tell us that he was there in the void in the beginning and that goes into uh, complete emptiness all right a complete vacancy all right before anything was in existence and then he um, brought it into into fruition of course we know through uh yahweh shai but ultimately that came from yahweh okay and him uh through an angel all right um showed these men things that uh in their time as they experienced it linearly okay um showed them things uh, to that were to come of future events but they but he actually took them to the time all right to the actual event to where they were able to to see these things taking place and the most high has done this characteristically throughout these scriptures and throughout history okay <laughs> these um put these men in trances and, and given them visions and dreams and but not just of a, a fucking uh, projection of it he actually took them to the um, to that time all right so uh, I'm gonna start off right here in second address second chapter the 13th verse it says go and ye shall receive, pray for a few days unto you, that they may be shortened. The kingdom is already prepared for you. Watch. Okay. So he just told Edris that the kingdom is already prepared. All right. It's already been um, put into place. All right. And it's it's taking place already. All right. It's actually already um in its in its um eternity. All right. Cuz when you look at John the Revelator at different visions of the destruction that the men of Yahweh and Shai were given um these those things have already taken place. All right. For example, the destruction of Babylon. All right. Or um, when Ezekiel saw the, the Valley of Dry Bones, the Israelites in their dead estate, he actually took them to modern day to see Jake in, in their um, in their fucking in their folly and, and uh, destroyed fucking uh, state. All right. It says. Take heaven and earth to witness. For I have broken the evil in pieces and created the good. For I live, saith the Hala. Okay. So he gave him that was an actual thing that he witnessed with his own eyes. Okay. When you look at that, the Most High was, um, gave him full viewership of, 
uh, the kingdom, all right? He, was, he actually saw it with his own eyes. Like it says, take it to witness, okay? So he, he was able to see the contrast because he was in one, because imagine if the Most High took you in, on a vision, okay? Took you uh, on a trance, into a future time it's it's a likened into it being literally two separate uh two separate things if you will all right likened into like two separate realities or two separate dimensions and fucking esau scholars are actually going into this shit now Salakia so into um into this concept that the most high is not bound by time uh and and space in any of the, the, uh, the dimensions that we're bound to, okay, length, width, height, and uh, and time, okay, that the Most High operates in, uh, like the the brothers, some of the brothers go, go into, uh, namely Barack, uh, the multiverse, man, for real, and w these things are going to be made manifest, uh, um. Uh, to us they're they're gonna be made uh known to us all right but you see this in um in the scriptures countless times man okay so for you to see how the most high is um is boundless man and that these things have already come to pass, all right? America is already fucking destroyed, okay? The, the Most High is already on the eternal throne, okay? Of course, with Yahweh Shai, you see? Um, Israel is already, um, you know, established as the, the, the kings and priests of the planet. These things have already come, come to pass. All right. It says down in the forty third verse, and in the midst of them, there was a young man of high stature. It's like it is in verse forty two. I address saw upon the Mount Sion a great people whom I could not number. And they all praised Yahweh with songs. So Edra saw this with his own eyes. How do you explain this? All right. It says in the midst of them, there was a young man of a high stature, taller than all the rest. And upon every one of their heads, he set crowns and was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. Okay. So I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? He answered and said unto me, These be they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal and have confessed the name of the Most High. Now are they crowned and receive palms. Okay. So this was an actual event that Edris was um, in viewership of through the this vision from um, from the angel, okay, ultimately from Yahweh, okay, he he saw these things, all right, and was taken to that time. This is not a fucking uh, a reenactment, or it's like a uh, a pre enactment, <laughs> okay, of of a future event, okay, or a projection. Or an act out, an acting out of it. This was this um, actual event that that was taking place that Edris was able to see, because that's why the um, that that phrase is reserved that the Most High is not bound by time, and even these fucking um, in quantum theory, uh, Slakia quantum mechanics. And in uh, these different physicists have determined that in the in um, the the base of matter, 
okay the foundation of all matter when you go um when you keep breaking it down that basis of matter foundation of matter is the electron okay and in that electron in, of the atom right everything consists of atoms and in um the foundation of the atom the pretty much the smallest you go when you break that fucker down is the electron and in that electron they've determined they call it the fucking uh slacky they call it the god particle because it's um it's infinite it's it's unlimited it's got um infinite potential and power okay and and uh and in that um they're it pretty much explaining the the existence of the most high man okay So let's get this. And they're able to show you that uh, things are not linear. That's how time is not linear, meaning from from front to back, from like beginning to end. Like we experience it and that's how come the most high can and um, anything that's dwelling with that kind of power can go back and forth as it as they please. And that's why and that's the most high, of course. And that's why in the kingdom that could be explained how we're going to be able to go back in fucking time with the ease of that, with the ease of that we breathe. Okay. To instantly go back into a moment in time and actually live that out and experience it. But in our present states and our present state is going to be a, a God state at that, at that time. Okay. So boy, my oh my, what the the glory that we're gonna be able to experience, man! It's gonna be fucking unlimited, man. Okay, literally, um, no, no, uh, nothing impossible, literally. Okay, and in even greater than that because of what our feeble minds can even imagine at this time. It's even, it's even greater than what we can even drum up. All right, all this uh, fantasy and and different, uh, you know, things that people create in fiction pales into comparison with the most high is going to have at our disposal in the kingdom, man. This is in, uh, and Salakia for the lack of, uh, of being concise, all right, we're in these fucking bodies, man, that where our minds are plagued, um, you know what I'm saying, with straying fucking uh, thought streams, okay? We have a, a, a thought stream, meaning like a stream of uh, a thought, an idea, a thing that it's in our mind for us to, to bring out, and it doesn't go as planned, or or um, it just, it's fucking, it's hard to, to spit it out, all right? This is the, the this is the time we long for, man, to be freed from these fucking chains of darkness. Okay, and to be in the kingdom that that whole um, book of of Revelation, the 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 twenty first chapter, man, which we're gonna get. This is in uh, John fourteen and one and th- through three. It says. Let not your heart be troubled, yet ye believe in the Most High. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. So the Most High, like it just said it's um, in Second Edges 2 and 13, that that place that he prepared for us is already done. It's already prepared, man. Okay. It says, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. Okay. So this thing is already taking place. And we're going to finish it off in Revelation 21. 
starting at the top, and I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from the Most High out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of the Most High is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and the Most High himself shall be with them and be their power. Okay. So, just this Edris, uh, John the Revelator on the island of Patmos, given the vision by the angel, actually uh, viewed these things, all right? He sculpted them with their, his own eyes, the new heaven and the new earth, the kainos, as it says, in, um, wherein dwelleth righteousness, okay? He said, and they were... It says the first heaven and earth were past, so Esau's world. He said, uh, this fucking hell, right? This current this current time that we're in. It um it was it was passed away. Okay. So it has already taken place. Through the spirit and power, Yahabah Shir me out shy. Okay, it's already done. It's already been done. Okay. We're gonna drop down. into the 10th verse and he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain and showed me that great city the holy Jerusalem descending out of heaven from from the most high okay so the angel carried him to Lachia and actually took him in the spirit to that great and high mountain he actually took him to the time in the kingdom when uh, when uh, the uh, one third of the nation of Israel are uh, established as the first fruits of the Halbah Shemiah Shai after that destruction. Okay. He actually saw it with his own fucking eyes. Them, uh, because what that is, is if, if you know anything about the scriptures and the, uh, um, the, the ark, okay, the ark, uh, um, Noah's ark, all right, in the time of the, what was known as the first death, the flood, well, there's going to be another, uh, flood but a fire, okay? The Most High said he won't destroy this fuck, uh, the earth with water, but he's going to destroy it with fire this time, okay? And that's likened to the second death. And it just as those um, those eight, eight people, the only people that were saved from that destruction at the time, just as they were saved and they went on an ark, okay? And then that ark was the only ones that established that were established in the new world okay and all life um pretty much was um um continued through them through those eight souls all right the same is going to happen in this time okay the uh, the ones that are that are um, slated to be saved, all right, are going to be taken on that proverbial ark, which are the chariots, all right. The um, the vehicles of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh all right, are going to be taken up into those while this place is getting fucking um, soaked in fire, all right. Just as in the old, in the ancient day, this place was, was fucking getting slammed with fucking water, man. 
they just, uh, Joe Rogan fucking had a, uh, had this one scientist on there that, that did fucking intricate studies of, um, different coastlines and different, different, um, topography and different surface, surfaces around this earth. And, um, they were able to test and, um, and uh they have different measuring devices they are able to measure and test and uh, pretty much get the readings of um how violent the flood was okay they they see like there were fucking these waves that came in at the velocity i mean i can't even I, most i will there i put something together on it but i can't even recall the speeds of these waves of uh that were coming in fucking tsunamis you know what i'm saying that were that were fucking uh coming in at ridiculous speeds that were fucking uh slamming this place man on all sides man so it wasn't just this place filling up with water it was very very fucking uh catastrophic okay Um, Colin, so it says, Colin, so that is, uh, that is going to be the, uh, the salvation and them coming down from, from that, uh, proverbial arc. All right coming to to repopulate the the earth all right that's what that is holy jerusalem descending out of heaven from the most high all right and it just told you that it just told you the same thing up here it says uh in the second verse so the holy city new jerusalem coming down from the most high out of heaven all right it just said prepared as a, a bride adorned for her husband. So that's going to be a kind of a, um, of a ceremony. Okay. So he saw them being established, as I mentioned. It says, having the glory of the most high and her light was like unto the stone, most precious, even like a jasper stone, clear as crystal. And he, and had a wall great and high and had 12 gates and at the gates twelve angels and the names written thereon, which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. Okay. So this is <laughs> a time that John the Revelator was taken to, a time that has already fucking taken place. Okay. It's a time that is in our future. All right. But as like it's like even it says that the kingdom is at hand. That's what that's talking about. Okay. Yes, indeed, it's in reference to the men of Yahweh Bashim Shai. The only thing that's going to enter it into this next uh, world unscathed. Okay. Because best believe. Well, the fucking the first fruits of the crop of slavery are not going to be unscathed. They're going to be fucked up, but they're going to be reserved from from total destruction. But they're going to be fucked up, man. All right. That's why there talks about the, the rocks falling us. They're going to be in a completely jacked up state when we round there when when we round them the fuck up. All right. So the elect is the only ones that are going to make it out of this fucking thing unscathed. And that's the kingdom of Ham, but a dual interpretation is that the kingdom has already it's already taken place. Like it says, declaring the end from the beginning. Okay, and we know that the Most High's declaration was a fucking bet your bottom dollar that they're gonna come to pass. Okay, and the Most High being um, being uh, not being limited by time unbound by uh, by those what they call constructs and those other factors this thing has already taken place 
the kingdom is already is already um, in existence, and this thing is already done. All right, this place is already fucking destroyed. Okay, and the Most High is on, is on the eternal throne. Okay, so with that, I'll praise.